Omar and with all the people that Omar plays too. And he has been improving real fast. Yeah. You know, he started playing Brawl. He didn't play Smash 4. In Smash, he's playing Ultimate. in Smash 4, he played like a little bit, only yeah. a, like Little Mac. And then Little Mac was like not the good character. So he kind of like gave that up and focused on Street Fighter character. 5. He's in a good character. Yeah. <laughs> So men are like I'm really I'm really think that this could go either way. Yeah. Bayonetta traditionally a bad matchup for Bowser, but this Bowser in terms of ultimate, he just packs a punch. But wow. talking about punches, Shadow PR taking the stock real quick. Yeah. That was a real nice string. Mm -hmm. No, it well, not just a nice string, it's just, you know, bayonetta stuff. Bayonetta, yeah. Yeah, standard bayonetta stuff. People just drop the bayonetta train real quickly in this game, but she's really good. People just are just not accustomed, you know, just to struggle. Quick question. <laughs> How many bayonettas are in, in DR? Because well, in Smash 4, there were like 5,000. I mean, there was, was bayonettas <laughs> everywhere back then. Ooh, Ooh, whoa. That a what a, that's a great whiff punish. So he threw out that nair trying to catch him, uh, you know, fading in. But that back air, clean stock. Yeah. Oh, man, it's going to have a real bad time here, man. Mm -hmm. That's OK. He's a big boy. Yeah, so there was no Bayonettas right now in Ultimate that you know of? Well, there's like two pocket Bayonettas that I know from top players. But they tend not to use it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's weird that they, if they use it, it's just, you know, in friendlies and some matches, some tournament matches, but real limited play for Bayonetta in the Dominican Republic. So. Another another stock taken by a Shadow PR with a, with a back here. Yeah. The thing is about this matchup is that since Bowser's so big, the strings that are kind of tight, those you know combo strings from Bayonetta, those are a lot easier to do on Bowser. And especially if you're misspacing your aerials or attacks with Bowser, she'll just scoop you in with her special yeah. attacks. So this is a, definitely a, a tough uh, hill for Mena right now. Yeah, I think he has to rely more on shield and punish mm -hmm. because Actually, if you try to, you know, just put hitboxes out there, I think Bayonetta hits ha uh, have not only more speed, but some have more range. Yeah, they have a, a, a good hitboxes. In terms of recovery, it looks like, a, you know, oh, wow, it didn't get, they did not get KO'd there, but it looked rough. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. Oh, oh. So that's the thing. Like, when, when you think about, like, hitboxes, range, and startup, Bayonetta's fast in comparison to a lot of the Bowser stuff. Yeah. So... All she has to do is get that stuff out, and then he can't really contest. So oh, which oh, time? Which time? Yeah, that's it. That does it. Oh, that's. I I definitely feel for Mena because he. I know he's a good player. Like we know, he's strong. He's Street Fighter fundamentals. He can easily translate that to uh, yeah. to Smash. The problem is he's finding this matchup right here. You know. I mean, people have always told him that he should get. You know look for some other characters, some alternatives. Yeah. He likes Little Mac, but... No. You know, man? <laughs> no. People just... have proposed to him, you know, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is also, you know, real big character, and he also has some safe options yeah. in the neutral. And he has some real strong conversions, like you if should, he gets a hit... You should convert him to use Ike. You know what? I'm going to let him know. Yeah, you should tell him. You, may, yeah. you should use Ike. <laughs> Yeah, whenever, whenever we're gonna, you know, I think we're gonna eat together this night. Yeah. I'm gonna just tell him, man, I came here to preach <laughs> the word of the Ike. The Ike. <laughs> yeah. So right now we're gonna go change the counter pick, Lilat. Uh, this is pretty good for Bowser in the sense that his aerials, for example, the neutral air, the up tilt, all these kind of attacks, they are, if you're under this platform, they just cover the upper side. Yeah. So that's really good for him. And also that platform kind of helps him uh, with positional, but this is a good stage for Bandana either way. She can do that 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 afterburner kick. It's perfect when she's at the ledge. So yeah. this is a really good stage for both, but I would still give the favor to Bayonetta. Well, Bayonetta just wins the match. Yeah, she just wins the matchup. I'm yeah. talking about the stage, stage-wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but it's like really rough. It doesn't really matter the stage, I think, because mm -hmm. whenever Bowser has a tool or two, Bayonetta has like five exactly. for this matchup, so it's, it's going to be rough anyways. I think this should be more like the counter pick in this kind of matchup should be something more like comfort. Like yeah. just play whenever you feel comfortable and you know just try to roll with it. Try to get a read or two and just see what happens. I didn't know that grab killed. Right? It, yeah, it definitely it killed before, 
um, in Smash 4, it just needs a lot more percent compared to the, uh, in Ultimate. Yeah. So he was at 200%, killed Bowser, which is kind of like, oh, wow, he actually killed Bowser. Yeah, with a forward throw. Yeah. That's, that's the thing, like, forward throws tend not to be that strong. There we go. So even though he picked Lila, oh. ooh, okay, good kill. Even though he picked Lila, that's a comfort pick. That's what Bayonetta can do. He can be under the, uh, under the wing of Lilat and clip you from, and prevent you from ledge trapping with a witch twist. That's like the biggest thing. Like Bowser wants his good position, but Bayonetta does not let him do that comfortably. Yeah. Well, let's just see how this matchup evolves. Okay, that's a good percent. Okay, that's the first time Bayonetta has, you know, just getting the flames on her. Maybe he can, you know, just start something from his. Okay, we're seeing some good, good, good neutral reach. Whoa, okay. okay. And that's a trade. We'll take that trade. He had 120. I'll take that trade every day, man. I'm pretty sure Mena thought he was going to come back. Uh oh. But that is definitely something that you shake. You get into a, a person's core right there. Yeah. Shadow PR trying to do the bread and butter, the usual business. And Mena trying to just like clap back with some really like risky, but oh. luck, like luck, big rewards move, you know? He's like, if I'm going to get hit either way, let me go for a big reward. Yeah. I mean, sometimes with these heavy characters, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Uh, Fall in there. Good, just, just all around coverage by all Shadow right. PR. See how he has to get back? That's the biggest thing. Get back. Side, let's go side B. Oh! oh, man. He was trying to be so prepared. I think that was yeah. his opportunity right there. Okay, let's just see. Oh, it goes for this last talk. This took... Oh! oh he's heavy. almost get him. Oh! Nice. He okay. Did a, he did an early up B. Oh, oh, man. He gets sent so far. So he is so close to losing this stock. This is the last... All that's right, it. The forward that's it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That was the tournament stock. He sent two losers. Shadow PR. Moving on. Yeah. I think that was winners. Yeah. I, pretty, I, would, I, would, uh, I would say safely say that that was, that was winners. Yeah. So, well... Mana early to the loser's bracket. That's okay. I mean, he's playing Bowser. Sometimes you just get some some of those road matches, and you know you just gotta accept that you hit a rock.